Hello and welcome to a brand new Luminar Neo video and today we've got some exciting news to share with you because we've got some brand new tools, new interface features and other changes all coming as part of our big fall upgrade. So let's jump straight in and see what Luminar Neo subscribers and those with the upgrade pass can enjoy. So first of all let's take a look at the interface changes. So you may notice that the layout of your images now includes your file name and if you hover over each image you can instantly apply a star rating or flag your image as favorited or rejected. But the most important change is that there is now improved catalog navigation and the options to enhance your photo organization are incredible. You can now filter by camera model, focal length, ISO, shutter speed, along with the file types of your images. You can now also create virtual copies of your files so that you can experiment with different edits of a photo without changing the original. Simply right click, create virtual copy, and now your copy will appear alongside the original. So one of the most significant changes to the interface here is the smart search feature at the top. And it's a machine learning based tool that enables users to find images, not only by the basic attributes like file names, dates, etc., but also the contents of the image. So if I search for tree, for example, it will then show images of trees. And if I type in neon, I get images with neon lights. And I could be even more specific and I could type in, let's say umbrella. And then images featuring umbrellas show up. It's really cool. Another UI change that we now have is the film strip feature. That means we don't have to go back to the catalog window to begin working on a different photo than the one selected. Simply click the film strip icon like so, and the film strip will appear at the bottom of the screen. And that is available to see in your catalog preset and edit window. So onto a brand new tool now, and that's the color transfer tool. Now this is where you can transfer colors from a reference image over to your own photos. So if you wanted to mimic a certain style, or you wanted to recreate the colors from your inspirational mood board, etc., or even if you wanted to bring over colors from a previous photo that you edited to speed up your editing process, then you can now do so. So the tool is right here inside of the creative section. And the first thing that I need to do is select a reference image. There is the custom window and the all references window where there are some pre-existing images supplied for you. But for now, I'll go to the custom window and I'll select an old photo of mine with some bubblegum pink and blue tones. Those colors have now been applied to my image and I can start adjusting some settings. So I'll bring down the smoothing option here, suit it to my preference. And I can also bring down the luminosity tool too, because my original image was really bright and loud and I want this one to look more moody. So I can increase the amount that the transfer is applied to and I can boost these tones here. But I also want to try out other references too. So I'll go ahead and apply another reference. And I think this one suits the image a lot better. But let's also look at how to add more references. So I can click the add button here and I can go inside of my Tokyo folder that I've created and simply open up any images that I want to try out. There's more that we can do with the color transfer tool. We can also match objects from the reference to your photo. So let's go take a look at that. So I've got a new image here and this is the reference image which I'll show on the screen. And what I want to do is have the flowers look exactly like the flowers of this image and the trees to look the same too. Because if I apply this reference without the object match, I still get the transfer of colors of course, but not in the specific areas that I want. And also for this image, I want the water largely untouched for it to look quite natural. So instead, if I select this option here at the bottom, now you can see how they both closely match. And because there isn't any water in my reference image, it's not as significantly impacted and the reflection of the trees in the water look more fitting too. Now, another tool that we have is the color mask tool. And this means we can apply a mask based on a specific color that we have selected within our image. So if I go for the yellow tone in this tree here, it will then allow me to create a mask based on that color alone but I can also broaden or narrow the range of tones within that color. So I can make it really specific like this if I wanted to, or I could make a wide range of tones that fall under that color. Now a quick and easy way for me to show you what's been affected is if I hue shift here and you can see that the colors are changing only within that color range, rest of the image is largely unaffected. So if I wanted to alter only the yellows of these trees and go through the hue and saturations like so, then I can do so. So there we go. That's the latest update. There's a lot on the way. I myself am going to be enjoying that new color transfer tool. It's super cool. Experiment and try out these new features yourself. And in the meantime, I'll be back again soon with some more Luminar Neo tips, tricks and tutorials. So I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.